Why, hello there, my name's DepthCharge2030, and well, first uh, first things first, I was initially going to just go and review Forever Evil Blight Part 3, uh, Phant it was, it's a Phantom Stranger issue, but here's the thing, even though I have that, I kind of, I'm kind of, because I have to go through all those in order to review Constantine, I'm just like, no, I'm not... Like, I do have all that. I'll just do a separate video for the entirety of Blight while I just review the singular issues of Constantine. So that's what I'm doing. So today I'm talking about Constantine, issue number 9. Take a look at that cover art. It's base. It's just Constantine beat the hell, and then the crime syndicate just standing around him. And it's like, oh, forever evil. And yeah. So let's jump right in and talk about the issue. And immediately we are treated to where the book picked up after Phantom Stranger. Yeah, this is going to be pretty weird to summarize what's going on without reading the other issues. I never thought about that. Moving on. So, they're in New York. Constantine, he's getting up from a crater because they, they fell in there. And so he's going on in his head being like, okay, I got to save Zatanna. Zatanna's in my mind, but we got to deal with Blight. And so he's he's gone ga he's gone gathered all these people together. He's got Swamp Thing with him, Nightmare Nurse, Pandora, Phantom Stranger, and then they're there facing off with Blight, who is this guy, who looks creepy as hell. So Blight is actually a friend of Phantom Stranger, who got possessed by Blight itself from Earth Three. So they're just fighting that, and Blight's just I will destroy you, and Constantine is just. He's just doing his best to keep, like, things together. It's just, they're just fighting Blight. He's just turning things evil and whatnot, and they're just killing, trying to kill them. And then we cut over to somewhere else. We don't know where this is, but it just shows that Sargon, the sorceress, is, like, trapped in a machine, and that just leaves, oh, what's going on over there? And then we cut back to Central Park, where they're still trying their best to fend off Blight's evil people. And so Constantine goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Blight, and so Constantine just uses magic to just throw him on his arse and whatnot. So while that's going on, they're trying to just murder Blight in a sense. They're just, like, focusing on him. But at the same time... Phantom Stranger is just like, hey, my friend Chris is in there. We gotta pull him out. So they're just like, okay, we gotta get this kid out of there. But then Blight just goes, no, and just backhands everyone and disappears. And so Constantine, he gets knocked over by one of Blight's creations. And so Constantine, he's just laying there watching everyone just get smacked around and things are looking rather dire. So they're all losing and then... He just questions himself, uh, we always win, right? That That's what we do. And then the issue ends with Blight just attacking Constantine. Alright, so what I think about the issue. The issue itself, it's just, it's just another part of, it's just another part of the Forever Evil Blight storyline. It's just a, oh, we're just going to, this is the first interaction with Blight. And then we even see a little hint at things that happen in the future. But, yeah. But besides that, there's not much storyline-wise. We kind of see Phantom Stranger being like, Oh, my friend is in there. We need to get him out. But besides that, there isn't really much heart involved, if you get that. The only other heart, really, is Constantine just being like, I want to save Zatanna. Everyone else can go die. Yeah, that's Constantine. What do you expect? And for art, we get this new artist named Aiko, and I'm just... His art, just going from, well, the previous... From going from, like, what's his name? One second. Going from... Just going... Like, Aiko's art and it just, it's just... It's just weird to me initially. It's just something that I need to have grow on me. And like, I can't just look at it and be like, oh, that just... Because there's just all these, like, dots and specks to it. It's just like, oh, that's... Like, it just kind of 
makes me feel weird when I read it, or when I look at it. I'm just like, uh, okay. So, it's just something that needs to grow on me. So, if I gotta give this issue, I give it like a 2.5 out of 5. It's a, it's a meh, issue, it's just, it's like a building block, it's not really important, really. And you have to keep in mind, it's part of a bigger picture. Like, you can't just go into this issue singular without having read Phantom Stranger or anything of the Justice League Dark comics. So, yeah. My name is Death of Charge 2030. See y'all later.